Hi, I'm Debbie. Today we're going to make another pendant and the pendant is going to be similar to this one here that I'm holding which has got our black gold iridized glass which has a nice um, texture to it and it's got that lovely iridescent coating on it so it creates a, an, an interesting effect and similar to the one that I'm wearing as well where we put some flat dichroic, um, dichroic side up onto the top and we put a little piece of clear just on the top of there and we've only partially fused this so that we can get some nice texture going on here and keeping our um, texture in our iridized black gold. I've got a similar piece here that we're going to work with today that has a texture. This is a radium texture and again this is iridized. And we're going to use some flat dichro um, glass. It's on thin clear and this is purple on thin clear. So against white it shows um, a very yellow look to it, you can see that, and against black, if I turn that over, it shows a purple tinge to it. So it'll be interesting to see what effect that has on the iridized coating of this glass. So I'm going to make one a similar sort of shape to the one that we've created here. And I've got some offcuts of clear here that we're going to use and I'm going to cut that down. Okay, so on with the glasses and out with our cutting tools. Now we've got textured glass here so we always turn it over and cut on the non-textured surface. So we cut slightly less than half of this five centimeter by five centimeter piece. that with our metal running pliers, pop that piece aside and this is the piece that we're going to use for our project. Now I'll just get a kiln base here that we'll pop a piece of kiln paper onto. It's our bullseye thin fire shelf paper that we use. Pop that there. Now if we put that on top we actually just slightly go over the edges so what we'll do is take a half piece, which I already have cut up here, and we sell those sometimes in our shop. Pop that little half piece under there. Okay. So our dichro, sorry, our dichroic flat glass, we now want to cut a strip of that but slightly, it'll be smaller, um, thinner than this one. And I want to make sure that we have our dichroic side up so that we have a matte finish, a very glossy, well not glossy, but more of a, a, um, a glassy, velvety sort of look to it. So I'm just going to cut a, quite a, a nice size strip from here and replace that on this glass, that looks nice. I think I want to just cut a little bit off the off the end there so that it doesn't quite go end to end. Just a, a very small amount, about the smallest that we can cut off, which is about two millimeters. Okay. So now that's going to sit in there nicely. So just making sure that I definitely have the dichroic side up. You can always tell by looking at it, you've got the light shining through it. The glass side you can tell because it looks like you're looking at a swimming pool and your dichroic is the paint at the bottom of the swimming pool. And the other side looks like you're looking at a mirror. You really can't see through it. It reflects back at you. So we'll just pop that on centered on the top of that glass and now we are going to take a little piece of clear and just pop that over the top like we have done on that piece there just for a bit of textured effect it brings through a nice 
look from the dichroic underneath as well. Uh, I could use this piece here that I've cut previously. Let's just pop that in the middle and see how that goes. Hmm. Actually, I rather like that. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit too large for the piece, but I think that um, that will actually work perfectly. All right, so off with the glasses and into the microwave. So we're going to take that across now and we'll start that one off at uh, two minutes on high. Okay, so I'll very carefully pop it in and pop a lid on top. And two minutes on high. Okay, we've got a nice glow happening and it's definitely glowing on one side. Let's move it slightly off centre so that that little piece will cook a bit faster. And we'll do 30 seconds now. Okay, let's have a look this time. Oh, perfect. Right, so I'll have a better look at it now, sitting there on our ceramic tile. Just open that lid. Oh, that's lovely. If anything, it cooked a little bit more than I was wanting it to, to cook. I wanted a little bit more texture than that, but it's not a train smash. That's actually going to look really nice. So we need to pop the lid on now and then just pop it way back on our ceramic tile and leave it there to cool down for 30 minutes. All right, so we've now got a cold kiln. So let's open it up and have a look. Oh, that is such a beautiful purple color. And yes, it was fused for a little bit longer than I had hoped, but all the same, it's created a really nice piece. My clear piece in the middle doesn't sit up like it did on the other one that I had and we've lost a bit of quite a lot of our texture from our backing piece but all the same it's a gorgeous colour and um, it's the sort of thing that you could wear out at night very easily because it reflects off a lot of different colours and looks quite elegant. Now I'm using a 5mm flat gunmetal bale today and really doesn't matter which end I put this on, they, um, they look exactly the same. So we'll just pop that there, we take our E6000 glue which is um, recommended for this sort of jewellery work, pop a little blob of it down on a piece of paper and then put the lid straight back on to protect the rest of the contents in our tube. And I take a toothpick, we just want to wipe up a little bit of that glue now and just roll it on to that bale without spreading it around and turn our piece over, pop it on the back there where we think it's going to, going to be in the middle and then always check it from the front to make sure that you do actually have it in the middle. So I'll give it a good press now and just start that bonding process and then we're going to just pop it down and in about two hours time it will be um, perfectly cured enough for us to wear. Um, ideally we would leave it until tomorrow. So that's a good project and I'm really pleased with the outcome of that. So thanks for watching this project and we have many other projects and videos that you can watch on our channel and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates.